Hello everyone, Devin here and we are standing once again in the hallway of my master bedroom and that just means one thing. It is time for another how did it dry video. The last video I did was actually the most viewed, the most popular video on my channel. A lot of you wanted to see more how did it dry. So here we are on the last video I believe I was saying thank you to my 100 subscribers. On this video, only a couple weeks later, I want to say thank you to my 300 subscribers. It's been absolutely amazing. I did not think that there'd be this many people interested in what I do as a hobby and what I enjoy doing. So with that said, let's jump into it. Let's take a look at these paintings. Let's get you turned around. And first and foremost is this giant 200 subscriber special painting, five foot by five foot. And as you can see, it turned out fantastic. I did have a little bit of work to do here and there, as always with my paintings, I seem to get the odd bug that loves to find the white part of the canvas and embed itself in there. So I did have to do a couple repairs here and there, but once you get it resined, you'll never even notice that that was there. I did have one small issue with this canvas and that was, the paint started to run at the bottom. I really love the effect, this kind of vein that comes through down here. But because I don't think I had it perfectly level because of the size of the canvas, my normal leveling system did not seem to work. It did kind of encroach to the bottom a little bit more and throw it out of center more than I would like. I don't like my paintings to be perfectly centered, but I like them to be just off center. So it's a little bit lower than, than what I would like, but overall, I think it's going to be a beautiful painting once it's resined and framed. And in here, the metallics are just, just popping. It's a little bit cloudy outside, so we're not getting the sun through like the other video that would cause these metallics to pop. But we do have the metallic copper in here with some metallic gold veining. We have the metallic silver with the gold around. You can see the gold up here. Um, again with the black and the beige and I think it just works perfectly. And again, this is just a monster of a canvas. I can't even get back far enough to get it all in frame. A five foot by five foot, this is gonna look spectacular, resined and framed. Next in the hallway is the knife painting I did. I really like this, I just find it incredibly interesting to to look at and you can see the crimson and black popping through with the um, gray accents I think once this is uh, varnished and framed I think I'm gonna do a black frame on this it's gonna look great so there is the knife painting next down the hall is my long funnel pour this one is spectacular. It's actually my wife's favorite painting that I've done. Um, you can see the gold in here with the teal and the cerulean blue just really, really pops and it just goes on forever because it's five foot, five foot by 20 inches, I believe. So this one's sealed, ready to be resined, which I'll probably will do at some point today and then get the frame built for it. Um, I do seal all mine with a coat of varnish first to make sure that I get all the oils or any leftover silicone that may be in and around off so it doesn't reject the resin and ruin my resin coat. Now you can always fix that, but it just means you're using twice the amount of resin. So I do like to seal it with at least one or two coats of varnish before I do the resin pour on it. So by the end of today, this one should be resined, and then by the end of tomorrow, it should be framed, ready to be hung. So let's turn around here in the hallway, and let's look at the gang of four. These are the four paintings that are now dried, not ready to be resined yet. I need to cure them for maybe another week or so. But if I recall correctly, this is the first one I did, mostly cerulean blue, black, but you do see the copper accents and gold accents popping through here and there. This one turned out great. This was the painting, naturally no, this was painting number two down here. Um, again, a much darker painting. I did use more blacks. These are all the same color palette. 
I just mix them differently and mix the ratios differently. So they all will work together, but they all have a unique look. So this one right here, I really love this cell development down here with the cerulean blue popping through the black and the gold popping through there. That one turned out fantastic. And this was number three here. Again, mostly teal. I felt the teal may have overtaken this one a little bit too much, but you do see some of the cerulean blue popping through and the gold and the cerulean blue popping through those cells right there. And last but not least was this final pour here. This one turned out fantastic, I think. The cell development in there is spectacular. This is the gold and the copper and the teal with the cerulean blue. Really, really, really digging this one. So there is the four. Once they're resin and framed, I think this is how I'm going to hang it. Let me know what you think. Should these be mixed around a little bit or does this work? Number one, number two, number three, and number four. So kind of a crisscross pattern on completion on how I'm gonna hang these. And then really quickly, so that's it for kind of the new paintings that uh, we did here. Uh, these were some larger ones, so they did take some more time, so I wasn't able to complete as many. But I did want to show you this one. This is the um, five foot by three foot floating uh, float cup pour that I did here. This one is resined and framed, ready to be hung. So this is the frame that I built here, painted it out in metallic gold to kind of accent the little bit of gold that's in here. So it's a floating frame, gold all the way around, and it has been completely resined. And because it's been resined, look at how much it just pops. Look at that. Look at the cells and how much detail there is. And if there was some sunlight coming through, these metallics just glow. And there it is, ready to go, ready to hang on a wall. And then let's turn over here for a second. So this is a painting that a lot of you asked in the comments on my first How Did It Dry video because it kept popping up in the background. So I wanted to touch on this a little bit. This actually has an interesting, funny, if not maybe a little bit gross story, um, uh, that kind of how it came to fruition. So this I painted maybe about a week or two weeks after my first son was born here. And if you're a parent, you will understand where I'm coming from with this is uh, my son was a breastfed baby. So his first poops in life um, kind of looked like this, that color palette minus the red, because that would be alarming. But the color palette, the, the whites and the different yellows and the browns, uh, it's kind of his first poops. So as I was changing his first diapers in life, this is what I saw. And being the proud daddy that I was, I decided to paint it. So a little bit of a gross story, but a very colorful story and colorful painting. And I think it does make this room, this entrance to our master bedroom, really, really pop and make it really, really inviting. While we're in the master bedroom, why don't I show you this other painting that I did maybe about a year ago over the master bedroom bed. This is a king size bed for scale to show you actually how large of a painting that is. That is a, I believe a six foot by four foot canvas and it was all done acrylic knife. So tons of texture and tons of depth of color. So this is a very, we'll go with romantic painting for the bedroom being the red and the blacks. And you can see, it's hard to get close because the bed's in the way and there's a lot of glare because it does actually have a gloss finish on it. But you can see the level of texture if I get nice and close to it. And just how much that red and black pop on this painting. So that's about it for this video. This is everything that I have dried. I'm going to actually work on getting these resined, framed and ready to go, as well as working on new pieces. If you like this type of video, please 
please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Make sure to smash that like button because um, it makes me feel good that what I'm doing here, you guys appreciate. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing so that you can stay updated with fun, interesting videos like this. And we'll see you on the next one.